Hello, welcome to Diabetech. I am Justin and today I'm talking all things Loop. Loop is a DIY closed loop automated insulin delivery system. That's when your pump speaks to your CGM, a continuous glucose monitor. They talk to each other and decide how much insulin you need in order to treat your blood sugar. Now you may know other systems out there on the market that are Omnipod 5 or T-Slim with Control IQ. Loop is not FDA cleared. Loop has been around since 2016. It was created by a bunch of very smart people, part of the We Are Not Waiting movement, because they knew that they could control their diabetes better than pharmaceutical companies at the time. There is so much to talk about with Loop, and I'm gonna do my best to educate you as much as I can about what Loop is and how it works, but I'm going to leave things out. And there are smarter people out there that can talk to you about Loop as well, which I will get to in today's video. I am not a doctor. I am specifically just telling you about my experience, what Loop is, and that's it. You are more than welcome to go do your own research, talk to your doctor before you change anything with your insulin delivery or someone else's, but yeah, this video is just to show you my own experience, and that's it. I've got videos coming out every single Friday, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you enjoy it or learn something new so other people can find it. All right, let's get into Loop. Loop is an app on an iPhone that you have to build yourself. It controls all your insulin delivery, you can bolus, you can log meals. It basically is your PDM, meaning you don't need to carry an extra device as your PDM. You just need the iPhone. There's also a tag along app on the Apple Watch, which I am a humongous fan of. I think everyone who uses Loop should really highly consider getting the Apple Watch just for this feature. Just being able to control and bolus right from your wrist. I'm gonna get into that, it is so cool. There are other systems out there like AAPS, which is Android Automated Pancreas System. That's for Android users. On surface level, Loop is a bunch of files that are out on the internet that were given to the community as a gift. It has an incredibly sophisticated algorithm that can control your automated insulin delivery through changing your basal or even in increment boluses. Now first things first, what do you need in order to use Loop? You will need an iPhone. It only works on iPhone. There are other systems, like I said. You could also get an Apple Watch. I highly recommend it, but it is not needed. Now, when it comes to the pumps you can use, you can use either an Omnipod Dash or the prior model, which is known as Omnipod Eros. Omnipod 5 pumps will not work. And the best part, Loop works with Dexcom G6 and the Dexcom G7. I am currently looping with the G7. T-Slim and Omnipod 5 do not work with G7 yet. Now, if you're using older Omnipod models, not the Dash, but before that, the Eros, you will need a device like this. This is basically a receiver. If See, if I open it up, there's batteries in there. It's not AirPods. <laughs> uh, check that out. This is an orange link. It's got two AAA batteries and it beeps. This allows the older Omnipods to connect to a phone. With Omnipod Dash, which is what I use now, I don't need this anymore. So I highly recommend if you have the option, go with Dash because that will connect with your phone over Bluetooth. Now I'm not gonna get into everything else you need in order to build Loop. You're gonna need to learn that on your own at loopdocs.org. Aside from loopdocs.org, there is an incredible community on Facebook if you wanna ask questions as you're doing your research or even building the app. Now, what you've all been waiting for, let's take a look on my phone. First, you'll see that my blood sugar is a little high, but also that there is a widget for Loop. What's cool about this widget is that when you open it up, it will actually open up into the app. Now we've got the app here, and right now you can see on the top graph, that is my blood sugar, all those little dots. Then there is that other dotted line that's more like lines. That is what the trajectory or where the app thinks that my blood sugar will go based off of the insulin on board and the carbs that I've logged. Now you'll also see this big target range. Currently, that is a target range that's higher than my normal target range because I have a temp override on right now. I'm going to work out in a bit. I'll get into what a temp override is in just a bit. This second graph is the active insulin. So you can see that I gave myself insulin and then insulin goes away after four hours. So then it's gonna go down. You can see that I have 6.16 units on board on the right side. 
Then you see insulin delivery. And let me flip my phone sideways, which is nice that you can do that. So now insulin delivery, you see all those squares that go down? That is my basal being reduced. If the squares were going up, that would be my basal being increased. You can see one at the end. Now all those triangles, those are boluses. Whether I personally was bolusing for food, or like I said, one of the ways you can treat yourself is with automated boluses, which is what I have on. So many of those boluses were completely automated. Now, at the bottom, active carbohydrates. This is a great graph. This shows you when you log the carbs, how many carbs uh, are in your system, and kind of when they go out of your system. Now, if I tap into active carbohydrates, look at this. So this is a whole list of all the food that I've eaten since 28 a.m. And what you can see is that it shows you the grams that I logged. So for example, let's go to the second one. 23 grams I logged at 322. Now it shows me that I actually had 23 grams absorbed. Now if you go a little lower at 11.13 a.m., I logged 15 grams. The app is telling me or estimating that I really only had seven grams absorbed. So this is a cool feature. You can't just believe it all the time, especially since glycemic index can kind of move things around, which is like how quick or slow blood uh, things affect your blood sugar. But this is a great estimate of like, did the food actually wind up being that much carbs? And you can kind of learn from it and move forward. That's just one like great example of how Loop can like really help you learn about your insulin delivery and your carb counting specifically. On top, you can see my blood sugar. Then that green loop in the middle means that it is connected to the pod and the CGM, everything is working fine. And then in the, the top right, you can see 31 units are in my pod. You can see the temp basal, so it's negative 0.02, it's coming back on basal. And then that line that's orange, that shows me the lifespan of my pump. If I tap into there, it shows me I have six hours left on my pump. And then there's lots more settings uh, that I'm not gonna get into. I will have a full app walk through, so stay tuned for that. Okay, along the bottom, there are a few icons. The first one is that uh, fork, knife, and plate. When I tap into that, this is where I can log carbs. So let's say I'm gonna have 10 grams of carbs. I can choose the time. I'm gonna have them, let's say, in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna leave that there. And then I can choose the food type. This is where glycemic index comes into play, and this is one of the most incredible things that Loop has that other systems out there do not, and I hope to see in the future on the FDA cleared systems. So if these three that are shown are the main ones. There's lollipop, it shows absorption time is 30 minutes because candies and many foods out there will hit your bloodstream in 30 minutes. Has anyone drank orange juice? That's what that is. Then you go to the taco, that's three hours. And for the most part, that is most foods out there that, that will uh, hit your blood sugar over three hours. And then you've got the pizza. Many of us out there know how pizza works and other very fatty foods like a cheeseburger and french fries. That's his five hours of, of absorption time. So what these are doing is they're creating in the algorithm an extended bolus for you. Let me show you what happens. So let's say I'm gonna put in, just so you can see it a little better, I'm gonna put in 30 grams of carbs. Now if I were to continue with the lollipop, it says it's gonna give me 2.2 units. Now let's go to pizza, same amount of carbs, it's only giving me 1.8. Why? Because the pizza's gonna take longer to affect me. And that lollipop, what I'd be eating with that, is gonna hit me faster. So you wanna get insulin in faster. That's how incredible this app is. It, like, it's mind blowing, right? Am I alone? Like, do you think that's cool? Let me know in the comments. And let me know what like, you think is the coolest thing so far, because I wanna hear. Next, at the bottom, you see the next to the plate is another plate and fork. When you tap that, this is called a pre-meal preset. Watch what happens. I'm, I'm gonna put until I eat carbs. You see how it lowered the target range below my main target range, which is that other blue line? That means until I eat carbs, I think it goes on for one hour, or until I eat carbs, it lowers your target range in anticipation of you eating. Meaning it's kind of bringing you a little bit lower. That way the carbs don't hit you as hard. Like, come on, amazing. Um, I'm gonna turn that off and then now I'm gonna skip over to the heart because I need to put my temp override back on. When I click that, these are all the temp overrides I have. 
These are all for different activities. Now, I currently have it on active day, and so I'm gonna um, put that on in just a second. That means I'm gonna go work out, it's gonna be a light day. It's gonna hold back my basal and then set my target range to 140 through 160. These are all completely customizable. I've created ones for when I'm high, for when I go on a run or a bike ride. Then when I go dancing, I like to put my target range a little higher and then weightlifting also. And then also you can see on the side, there's different hours. I put four hours for some of them. I put infinity until I turn them off. I'm gonna put weightlifting on. That will turn off on its own in four hours, but most likely I'll wind up turning it off myself. Now let's go back to the middle. Those two little orange square uh, triangles. Oh my God, I didn't learn shapes. I'm gonna tap into that. Now this is what it recommends, and it's actually recommending that I dose myself some insulin. So I'm gonna click deliver, and it's gonna start giving me insulin. You may hear the clicks, because my Omnipod's right here. There it is. Now, let's say you just wanted to bolus for yourself. You could, you could put in whatever you want here, and then you can do it. But honestly, I don't really do that. Like I let this system do its thing. Sometimes I have like little tricks that I do to get my blood sugar down if I need to, but I don't rage bolus and I don't think anyone really should be rage bolusing. Debate me on that in the comments. Now, and as you can see along the top, it was showing me that I was getting blood sugar uh, delivered, which is also awesome. It shows you how much longer. You can also cancel it and then it will like know how much it gave you and you can adjust. It's incredible. So that is the app. There's also settings and there's so much here. As you can see, I have an Omnipod connected. I have my Dexcom G7 connected. I can change that. You can go in and change all your therapy settings. Like this is, you know, definitely not something you really want to be doing only on by yourself too. I think you should be speaking to an endocrinologist or a diabetes educator specifically if they understand loop would be better. But um, you don't wanna just be doing this all, all by yourself. I, I don't think that's the smartest thing and I've heard it's not as easy as just translating your pump settings that are from the other systems to this. It's, it's not that easy. Don't mind my high blood sugar level, but as you can see in the left corner, that is the Loop app. You can see my 251 and my arrow going up. I ate fast food before this <laughs> video. I also put the Loop app on other watch faces so I can go to the side, there's one there. And then there's also one there on this watch face. And I'm gonna go back to this one. Now I'm gonna tap into loop and this is the main home screen. So you can see carbs on the top left that I can add in the carbs with the dial or I can click the plus and minus sign and that goes by up and down by five. Then there's the lollipop, the taco, the pizza that I talked about before. Then if I wound up clicking continue, it shows me the amount of insulin to bolus and then I would click save and then use the dial to kind of initiate it, cancel. Then there is the bolus on the top right. It shows me how much to bolus. I can change it and click bolus. Then, oh, and it wants me to bolus, so I'm gonna do that. And then, there you go, check mark. And then you've got the pre-meal on the bottom left. This again is when it lowers that target range in anticipation of eating food. Then the presets. You can see I have all the options. I'm gonna click active day because I am gonna work out. That one turns on, it's probably gonna turn off the pre-meal as well. Then if I swipe over, I've got my graph and I can tap into there with one tap and it will zoom in. And it's so nice that I can have my phone maybe in the other room and I'm still kind of connected in the other room, use my Apple Watch to put in carbs, bada bing, bada boom, I've got insulin coming in. Now this isn't for everyone. This takes time and dedication and not just that, you're kind of on your own essentially if anything goes wrong. But there is that Facebook group that gets back to you in literally like 30 seconds sometimes if you have any issues. I've had two issues in the last year and a half of using Loop. They freaked me out and they only lasted maybe about an hour, but I was so anxious and scared in those moments. The Facebook group came to my aid and solved them. They're just as good as Dexcom support. But some people want a company like Omnipod or T-Slim to be liable. And that's okay because the FDA systems, Omnipod 5 and T-Slim with Control IQ are also phenomenal systems as well. And I highly recommend you finding the one that works best for you. If you wanna learn more, check out that website I told you about and I'm happy to answer any questions down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a lot about Loop. I'm coming out with a whole app tour video on Loop because I just couldn't fit all of that into this video. There's so much more to talk about. I've got videos coming out every Friday and one of those Fridays will have that app tour video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell if you wanna get alerts as soon as they go up. 
And if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, give it a like, that way other people can find this important information. Until next time, I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.